Okay, here we go with our second one on our little outdoor torch. Okay, what we're looking at here, we've got our little burner up there, and we're going to fire that up in a little bit. But I want to note right down here, we've actually got two stages of pressure regulation. Now, I've got the propane cylinder on, and I'm feeding to the valve, and I have my pressure, my manometer, hooked up to the inlet. That regulator, right to the left of the, of the uh, manometer, is set for right around 11 inches of water column, 10.81, whatever. Okay, that's going to take the pressure that's inside the propane cylinder, which may be, you know, 120 pounds, 80 pounds, depending on the outside temperature. And it's going to drop it down to 11 inches of water column. Okay, I don't want 11 inches of water column going into my burner. It makes too much noise, and you'd have to use very, very small orifices. So I've made a change on this. I've got this set up with a regular gas furnace gas valve. Now this is out of a fairly modern gas furnace. It's, it doesn't have any flame safety controls on it. Flame safety controls are in the ignition control. But it does have a pressure regulator. And it is made for taking pressures, could be six, seven inches of water column, up to I think 14 inches of water column, and this is 11.82. So it's safe to use this with that other regulator. Now, what you don't ever want to do is put this valve up to the propane cylinder. You'll blow the valve, it'll blow the diaphragms in it, and gas will flow everywhere. Important safety tip here, use two regulators. The original propane regulator for the high pressure down to 11 inches of water column. Then I'm going to take the 11 inches of water column and I'm going to drop it down for this burner. Now I'm going to show you what the pressure should be in the outlet of that gas valve. Now we have the burner running and we've got the pressure really low. Now I'm running 0.29 inches of water column. Um, normally, if this was natural gas, it would probably run about three and a half inches of water column. But we're trying to keep the noise level down, so this thing does not make a lot of noise, and give about the right size flame. So that 0 0.30, somewhere between 0 0.20 and 0 0.30 is probably where you're going to end up with this burner. Because you know it definitely don't need any more flame than that on there. So with your double regulator, you should be down 0.2 to 0.3 inches water column. And it should work normally. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this thing outside. I'm actually going to run it on natural gas. So I'm going to have a little bit different setup. But uh, that's the next thing we're going to, is setting this thing up and mounting it. That's it on this one.